Hey again guys, it's Jacob, your assistant youth worker here at St. Edward the Confessor Church. Um, I'm here with another video uh, based off what we've been looking at this term, topic of bravery and courage in the Bible. So this week, uh, our Wednesday night youth, youth group, we looked at Noah and the ark story and how it took a lot of courage and a lot of bravery uh, to build an ark in a land that was landlocked to tell people that actually God told me to build a massive boat because there's going to be a flood that will flood the entire earth. So we looked at that call and then we looked at Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane uh, the night before he was betrayed and crucified and how his bravery shows us that he called out to God and said, Lord, your will, not mine. And so the theme of that night was essentially being brave and courageous even when God calls you to do the outlandish things. And so today we're going to look at not a biblical character, but a Christian, uh, a Chinese pastor whose name is Wang Yi. Uh, he is possibly the bravest person I have come across uh, that is still alive today. So the country of China has been seeing an incredible increase in its Christian population with millions of new Christians coming to faith literally every year. However, this has sparked a major, major crackdown in recent years of Christian activity. So the communist leaders of the government in China have been persecuting Christians. They have been rattled by this recent increase uh, that is very exponential, very sudden in the number of believers. And so they have started to persecute Christians and Christianity has essentially become uh, a lawless activity. And the reason for this is because the communist leaders want to be worshipped themselves. And I, I'm not joking. So ever since around December 2019, the Communist Party have been ordering their workers to go to churches and tear down the crosses from the top of them, uh, to go into people's homes and take out their religious symbols and their Bibles. They've been entering into house churches and ordering that everyone goes out. They've made church basically illegal in their country. Uh, you're not allowed to sing worship songs anymore. You, you're instead uh, supposed to be singing songs of basically praise to the government. Uh, they've been telling them to take down pictures of Jesus from homes and churches and instead replace them with pictures of their government leaders. It's, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Uh, but what it has led to is the people being basically forced to worship the government instead of worshipping Jesus. But Pastor Wang Yi, leader of the Early Reign Covenant Church, uh, which is a reformed uh, church in China, has not backed down at all. He continued to open up house churches, underground churches, essentially secret churches so that people could worship God uh, freely, but kind of not freely if it's underground. And listen, listen to one of the things that he said about this. He said that Christians in this country have been praying things like this. Lord, have we made it to the end yet? When will you end the government persecution of the church? When will you judge these people who don't believe in you? But he said that God's reason is simple. It's because the government don't believe yet. This level of bravery and faithfulness to God as well is incredible. This man knows that he's not supposed to fight back, but to pray for these people and to continue to preach the gospel and the love of Christ. This is what the Bible says about it. So in Matthew 5, uh, verses 43 to 44, it says this. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I tell you, this is Jesus, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This pastor was persecuted in a country where Christianity was persecuted and he's praying for the government to be saved, to believe in Jesus Christ. And that is exactly what the Bible says that he should do. It's amazing. Uh, this man just, just knows that this is what he's commanded to do and he's done it anyway with courage and bravery. Now, in December 2019, this pastor was put into prison. He's serving a sentence of nine years currently for not following these ridiculous laws that the government have passed. And this guy reminds me of someone very famous that I think we've all heard of from the Bible. 
I'm talking about the Apostle Paul. He was also preaching the gospel in places where the governments and the officials did not like this new Jesus movement, this, this new Christianity thing. And so Paul himself as well was put into prison. And this is what he says. He writes a letter to the church in Philippi and in Philippians 1 verses 12 to 14. This is what Paul says about being in prison. He says, now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. This bravery is amazing. Bravery even to the point of disobeying what the government says because the government is disobeying God and persecuting Christianity. The similarities here are, are pretty nuts, to be honest. They went through the exact same thing. And the reason... They were able to be brave. And this is what Paul talks about in the book of Romans, is that in persecutions and in weakness, where all your strength has been zapped away from you, you've got no power. Actually, when you're weak, you are strong. And this is what Paul says. He says, when I'm weak, I'm strong. And the reason for this is because when all of your strength goes, all you can rely on is God. And we've said this before. We've talked about this, that... When all of our strength goes, all of our courage goes, all of our bravery goes, we then are forced to lean upon God and do things not in our own strength, but in God's strength. And that's why Paul says that God's power is made perfect in weakness. And so this is why these people are able to be brave. And so I guess for you guys, the next time maybe you're taking the mick out of for being a Christian or people make a fool of you because you're a Christian and what you believe in, remember what happened to Paul, remember what happened to this pastor and know that your reward awaits you in heaven. So thank you for listening and until next time, God bless you.